You know, I feel like I could vendor a lot of this stuff that I have. Um, but the reason I'm not yet doing that is because there's a random little girl here. Can I get into here? No, it's locked. Can I talk to you her? You can't go in there, missus. The maester isn't home and the magister's locked her house up for her. They was very angry about it. They said mean things about the maester and they left a mess. A big one. Uh, ask her where the maester might be. She's outside the gates. I can't go outside the gates. It's very dangerous. Hey, you want to know a secret? Lean forward to listen to the secret. When the wind blows from over the stream, I can hear the Meister. Okay. I can hear her crying. Oh, that's not good. She gives you a look of the darkest meaning. Then she takes a deep breath, puts on a happy smile, turns, and skips away. Okay, that was dark. Uh, powerful awakening. Meister Siva was arrested by Magister forces. She is at a gallows on the outskirts of Driftwood. Gallows. Lost egg. Crap. Okay, well. <laughs> Looks like we're gonna go save the Meister from the gallows. You know, I'm happy with coming across this way that we did um, to go to Driftwood first rather than kind of going exploring. When I first came to this area the very, very first time I was playing with uh with ink we just we just went north and we missed a lot of stuff because of that oh yeah master Steve is there kill Alexander, you stupid ape. release me a fly buzzes around the dwarf's mutilated head for a moment it lands crawls across his open eye and takes off again the silent watcher does not blink okay what about her A Magister guard approaches. Behind her, on the gallows, two lizards. One in a Magister uniform hangs dead from her neck. The other hangs from her hands, still alive. Yeah, oh, this is dead, but she's not hanging. Step away from the prisoner. Uh, ask who the half-living prisoner is and why is she hanging by her hands. Tell her you're going to set the prisoner free. She'd be wise to look the other way. Yeah. You're going to what now? Uh, offered the opportunity to set the prison prisoner free herself. She betrayed Alexander. I'd sooner die than free her. Um. I did not kill Alexander, you stupid ape. Memory persuasion. Mystic, tell her to be prudent. The Meister is a powerful spirit. If she dies here, she may linger even in the afterlife. Of course, I need I need persuasion. I have my orders. The prisoner stays where she is, and you can move along. Alrighty then. Well, I'm just gonna disconnect myself real quick. Bring her up here. Disconnect this Spill. Really bring Spill up here. Necessary. Bring him over here. And ah, perfect. Okay. Well, Lusa. I know you're pretty rad and everything, so let's, uh, actually, here's, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna haste first. Bam. And we're gonna switch to Losa and do a barrage. Bam, bam, bam. I did a lot of damage just immediately to her. Don't say help. Oh, don't freeze us. That's not cool. Oh, we got a dog coming in. Ooh, and we got a couple other guys. Okay, so I have set myself up perfectly here then. Um, I, I want to ignite these fools, right? Because spontaneous combustion is so good. That's two. That's two. I could fireball and then do spontaneous combustion. Um, wait, actually, that might be really good. But I could also to impalement on these guys right which is gonna do that then we're gonna try to set burning by igniting that and we will combust them on the next turn man beast he is a beast let's do a ricochet shot I kind of feel like I want to take care of those guys first but I don't know. They, I, I, I'm, I'm not sure. That guy doesn't have a lot of armor. Let's, let's do this. Oh, she dodged. That sucks. 
Uh, I could do sky shot. Um, who's coming up next? The dog is. But, and that, and that guy's already gone, so maybe I should do a reactive shot to these guys. So I could do a reactive shot there, and if they move, I immediately shoot them. Actually, I could get all three of them. Uh, that's not a bad idea. Let's do that. What do you mean, invalid target? Do I, do I have to choose an actual target? No. Is that just because it's like in a weird spot? They, they're technically in it. So let's do that. Reactive shot. We're going to see how it goes. Um, I'm also going to encourage. Because encourage is real good. So beast, uh, you're a monster. I feel like... Uh, how do I want to do this? do shocking touch on him actually that's pretty good so let's do that shock him and my shields up and just like immediately get that out of the way uh, as far as she is concerned she still has a lot of armor so I could attack her I should probably do mend metal because that will that will help both of them out and uh crippling blow i can enrage i've got all sorts of stuff that i could do with him but i'm going to try and flame these dudes so now they are all have burning set to them which is perfect what i wanted um also gonna just hit them all with this man freaking the red prince is just awesome I like that kind of warrior thing going on. Wow, because he teleported, he did not get the shot on him. He just healed that dog, which is unfortunate. At least they're not killing my main damage dealers, which are just kind of sitting up here gaining crazy damage bonus. Ah, oh, that sucks. That, that whole ability, it just got completely subverted. Unless she moves. Okay, there it goes. So we got a free attack on that, but I missed the other two. That sucks. Where's she running to? Weird. Okay. Sure. So let us spontaneously combust this person. Oh, gosh, that does a lot of damage. Ooh, 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 that is good. Hey, Slosa. Of course. Do this. Now, I could bleed fire on him. Or I could hit both of these with that. I think this is going to be better. So it kind of slows them. So if they want to move still, they're, they're slowed. I like mending. That, that That's just giving them both armor. A Losa's turn to just wreck these fools. Um, no, I could do elemental arrowheads. So Skyshot is what? Two. And then a normal attack is two. So let's do that. Let's get frozen. <laughs> get frozen arrows. Uh, let's kill this guy. Sky shot. Super strong, of course, because of the additional attack damage. We'll just do a normal attack against her. Wow, that does a lot of damage. Losa is crazy strong. I feel like Losa and especially... Well, I think Losa is just strong in general. But I feel like Sabeel has kind of come into her own. She is just crazy now. What can I do with these guys? Um, I'm going to put Uncanny Evasion on him. Because he's got two guys on him. And I could... Um, <clears throat> I could try to petrify one of these. Maybe I should. No, because I have Uncanny Evasion on. I could chain lightning, that's for sure. That would do a crazy amount of damage. I also don't think that's super necessary. Uh, man, he's got a lot of cool stuff. Let's let's uh, petrify this guy. And then we shall do just an attack against this guy. Cool. Um, I can battering ram here. Hit this guy. 
I wonder if that will kill her. So I got to be careful with that, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, let's, let's use 4 AP to run over to him. So if he moves, he will get uh, attack of opportunity on him. Beast being a beast. She's using enrage, but she's going to die here shortly because look at her health. 46. Goodness. I mean, beast is like totally fine right now. So you know what we're going to do? I think we're going to... Is that what I want to do though? Yeah, I think that's exactly what we're going to do. Because he's got magic armor, he'll be fine. And I'm going to bleed fire. Bam. Is that free attack I wanted? Her armor's almost gone. So now I can do barrage. So strong. And just a regular attack to finish her off. Him off, whatever it is. Beast is a monster. He's just over here tanking like he's, I don't know, he's like a god. Let's, um, let's hit this guy. Oh, he's invalid. Why are these guys invalid? Oh, that's another swap. I wanted to do, where is it? Oh, shocking touch. Still on cooldown for another turn. All right, that's fine. I guess I'll just like mosquito swarm on him. I'll yield to nothing. And that leaves me with two AP, so I could just like attack him. It's pretty good. And he can finish her off. Knock her down. Do a cool whirlwind effect. <laughs> I just like flexed on him, killed him with it. And as far as these guys go, like I could just searing daggers, just like one, two, three, get them both. Get well. I know I can, I know I can fit it. Oh, he's got 70 life. Okay, hold on, hold on. Before I do this, how much damage is this gonna do? A lot. Let's try to kill that. Perfect. Then we'll use these to go one, two, three. She is so powerful. They are, they are like getting real strong here. Okay, before I help her, she, it's not like she's hanging by her neck. She's not gonna die anytime soon. Let's, uh, wow, that two-handed axe, though. Oh, of course, I'm now I'm overburdened. Yeah, okay. So, let's send that axe to Prince. Send all this stuff to the Red Prince. Try to get my, um, weight a little further down. Move them. Sure. Yep, yeah, 90 gold, that's not bad. Them. Okay, now we can cut the her down. hangs from the gibbet. Her face blooded and her scales discolored. Her eyes are closed, but her tongue flickers as you approach. Welcome to Driftwood, Godwoken. One bloody eye cracks open, glittering gold appearing from beneath the swollen lid. Chased. <laughs> Chased you all the way here from Fort Joy, did they? Very well then, cut me down. There is work to be done. Or indeed, you could stand there like a stage-struck peasant. If you're waiting for me to applaud and cry and call, you may be disappointed. I'm in no position to clap. Hmm. Um. Do, 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 do. Assure her that she'll be freed, but you're curious how she knew you were godwoken. The lizard grimaces, shifting awkwardly as she dangles. I am in intense pain. You are either insufferably cruel or insufferably stupid. Uh, <laughs> fold your arms and stare at her with an eyebrow arched. Insufferably cruel. How charming. It was obvious, Godwoken. You were whippet thin, implying you've been a captive. Your wrists have seen the sun, but your neck is not, so you sported a collar, not shackles. Thus <laughs> you escaped Fort Joy. But I'm, like, wearing full armor. How could she... Come After on. an escape, any sane creature would rest, but the bags under your eyes indicate you haven't. Why not? You must have been chased. Thus, <coughs> thus you must have been important. No one important escapes a prison without help, and no one frees sorcerers bar the seekers. They thought you were worth saving, and thus I surmise you are 
God woken. All right, whatever. Now an important person does not come to Driftwood unless they seek someone even more important than themselves. So I further surmise you are here for me and will help me down. Now. I don't know. You're being kind of rude. Be quick about it before the next magistrate patrol realizes something. What are you waiting Whoops. for? I didn't mean to hit that. Do it, damn you. If they find out what you are, you'll be blessed to end up hanging beside me. Um, yeah, she's probably right. I'll just, I'll slice through the restraints. God's teeth, it feels good to move again. Yeah, that XP is good. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a house to secure. Meet me at my home in Driftwood. We have much to discuss. Alrighty. Okay, chapter four. Mastering the source. Oh, I'll master it. I feel like, um, <clears throat> like my, my different characters are really starting to become... Like their builds are starting to come together. Like Sabil has crazy fire damage. She's the biggest pyro that we could we could hope for, and I love it. Uh, her her abilities are awesome. Additionally, I feel like Losa just does so Space much damage. Today. It's very 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 good. Also, did I get anything from that? No. Well, I got a fang. There's that. Whatever. We'll just add those to wares. I got lots of books here. I can actually, you know what? I got that love grenade book. The Meister Whoops. sits slumped in the chair, looking around the room as she works her shoulder with one hand. It looks like it was dislocated by the gallows. Damnable red cloak baboons ransacking my wardrobes. As if I would keep ancient valuable secrets in a pile with my unmentionables. She takes a deep breath, and with a twist, a click, and a screech of pain, she shoves her shoulder back into its socket. <laughs> I swear by the seven, if, <coughs> if we did not have more important matters to attend to. Reaching across the table, she pulls a bowl of hot water towards her and fishes some bandages, a needle, and thread out of a box. She slowly starts to tend to her wounds. At least the barbarians were unable to club their way into my vault, so everything you need should be safe. Um, ask what exactly it is that you need. Watch as she slowly wraps a cut on her arm. Ask why she, why, why, ask why they shrunk her up or good. Tell her you want to start as quickly as possible now. What, what exactly is it that I need? In your case, more than I suspect, man, God or even reptile can provide. However, we must soldier on. It is not enough to be God woken in order to ascend to divinity. There is a process. As she speaks, the Meister uncorks a vial of shimmering liquid, sauce. She lets a couple of drops fall on her hand. But instead of infusing with her body, they quickly evaporate on her scales. She stares at the empty spot on her palm for a long moment before turning back to you, continuing as if nothing had happened. A process by which God woken may ascend. It begins with discovering your deepest self, delving into your own soul. Um, good tell you want to start as quickly as possible. Not long. What do you need to do? Or Losa, clap your hands together enthusiastically. Time to give that thing what's coming to it. Or tell her you're not too keen on meeting that thing again. No, yeah, let's do the other one. Quite. Um, cautiously ask what happens next. We shall begin once we have <laughs> the tools we need from my vault. You may have been chosen Godwoken, but becoming divine requires more than a supernatural pat on the head. Come, Godwoken. It is time to see just how awake you are. Fortunately, the Magisters pay as much attention to art as they do to fashion. Right. Kindly remove that painting from the wall. This one? Yeah. I pray my instructions for your talent for following simple instructions fills me with wonder and push the button. I don't now, like her. <laughs> kindly go to the vault and enter the combination. I shall call it out as you go. She's a butthead. A stone door lies flush with the floorboards. Etched whirls in the granite frame a delicate rotary dial. Gleaming under the dim light, the metallic dial almost seems to wink at you. Enter the safe combination as the Meister calls it out. Taking your time, you carefully enter the combination. The metallic sounds of the tumblers falling within the mechanism let you know you entered the code correctly. Excellent. Follow me. Your time is at hand, Godwoken. Okay, we're going into her vault, which... She ain't got nothing. Powerful Awakening updated. And all sorts of quests updated. Mastering the source. Checking all of her loot. You know, for a vault, there ain't nothing in here. Look about while I catch my breath. 
Okay, cool. Runes. Come speak Weird to me when you to This place and is try an not to break dream. anything in the meantime. What does this do? Ah, cool. Fireball. Ooh, she's got Firestorm Grenade. I'll take that. There's a wooden figurine. Sure, whatever. It sells for 120 gold, so. Firestorm Grenade. Sure. Ooh, what's this? Uh, some potions and empty bottles. We've got uh, the On Source Orbs, part three. Oh, well, you know, I'll just come over here to that book, wherever it just went. Why don't I see it? Uh, auto sort. Do, 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 schematic, security log. That, there it is. Read. Okay. Did I learn anything? Epidemic of Fire Scroll. That sounds cool. Want that? Um, Rise of the Sky Sword 4. Bottle of Swirling Mud. Effects unknown. There's a Source Fountain. Ingredient Cupboard. Meat Cleaver. <laughs> Uh, what's over here? Notes on God Woken Ascension. It's kind of cool. Oh, look, we can get source points here. Water and pestle. Pouch. So, there's some notes here. Uh, Meister Siva instructs me to record my research before I conduct any experiments regarding God Woken Ascension. The ritual itself is quite simple. One, place single piece of black root in the ritual bowl. Two, draw blood with obsidian lancet. Your own is most uh, convenient and sprinkle it upon the root. Three, set a flame to the bowl and its contents. Four, ensure that you have sufficient source. Five, inhale the resulting smoke. Six, beyond this point, nothing is known. The ingredients for this ritual are not rare per se, but may be difficult to procure. I am fortunate that, my, that the Meister source fountain never runs low, so it is simple to gather source. Black root, however, is another matter entirely. The root grows in the forest to the northwest of Driftwood. It produces no poison or thorns to guard it, but all manner of creatures stock these trees. It is wise to quickly grab what one needs and then return. I pray that my experiments here pave the way for future scholars, or should I succeed... Uh, to allow any to be equals of God Woken. Hmm. Interesting. There's a pouch. I guess I can Boring. check out that pouch, see what's in there. Uh, seven gold. There's a seven gold pouch. Do, do, do. What's on this? Ooh, chain lightning scroll. I'll take that. That is real good. That is, that is actually great. Treaties on humanity. Book. Let me just read through this. And... Eh. Doesn't look like anything good. Look at all these barrels, of course, because I'm going through all of the loot. Nothing there. Anything here? There is. Ooh, Medusa head skill book. Sell that for a lot. Hungry flower scroll. Huh. Um. Let's pick that up. We'll leave the rest there. Okay, that was fun. Let's talk to her. The Meister is examining her wounds, prodding at this, wincing at that. Her face seems grim as she turns to you. Do you know what it means to have the power of the divine, Godwoken? Ah, uh, tell her you know less about divinity than you do about sin. Then it's time to smarten up. This responsibility isn't one of the meek, the selfish, or, in your case, the ignorant. No, becoming the divine means taking on the power of all the gods and the responsibility for all the races. The divine was created by the gods to shelter us from the void. The divine cannot use her power for anything else. Hold up a hand. Surely you can use some power for yourself, Nod. You understand, Nod, but you're already thinking about what you could do with such power. Growl that you already told her what you will do when the power is yours. Now, I understand. Very well, then. Let's see if we can't snatch divinity from the jaws of the void. The ritual itself is quite simple. Drop some black root in the bowl, mix in a little blood, set the concoction aflame, and then inhale the smoke. Ignore any feelings of dizziness, burning in your lungs, or a dire sense of existential dread. They're all perfectly normal, although you will need to sacrifice a little sauce along the way. Everything you need is here. Ingredients in the cupboard, sauce in the glowing fountain, ritual in the tome by the bookcase, even an incinerator to provide a flame. 
The Meister looks back at her wounds, curiously prodding them as fresh blood oozes out, staining her claws. Observe that her cuts look pretty bad. Huh. Yes. Quite. Mind you, being torn asunder by a void woken would be even more inconvenient. So if you wouldn't mind... The Meister points sharply to the ingredients covered. Um... Yeah. Let's uh, say that we'll get started immediately. Actually, let's see if she's got something to, to sell. She's got some nice gloves, some legendary gloves. Uh, some okay pants. Pretty good staff, but not great. A cult, a cult helm. Um, which, yeah. See, let's go to Sabeel and actually, you know, how good this stuff is. Those gloves, though, were, holy cow, those are good. Niner, I mean, it's, I got, I got the gold for them. Let's get them. Um, offer my wares. Oh, I need to, right, I need to do his too. Balance out the gold, accept. And, uh, let's go to his, offer wares. Basically just paid for it. So, she got some legendary gloves over here. And do not lose anything. These ingredients are rare indeed. I'm not hiking back out of the cloister wood to fetch you more black loot. Okay, so let's open this. Let's go to Sabeel. Let's give her these crazy gloves. And um, let's add it to wares and set it to bricks. Cool. So, uh, ingredients covered. Yes. Opening the door, you see a selection of ingredients thrown together in no particular order. After a quick rummage, you spot the black root nestled between the grated dragon's tongue and drudene oil. <laughs> You gather up the black root, obsidian lance, and ancient bowl, and kick the door of the cupboard closed. Okay. Then what do we need to do? We need to... Let's do... Where does that want me to put this? I guess I could just talk to her. Are you simple? Perform the ritual. Okay, In whatever. So, what is, what, is, what, is it, what is it trying to tell me to do? Uh, we should burn the mixture in the bowl with the cellar's incinerator, then inhale the smoke. We can now cut uh, ourselves with the obsidian lancet and mix. Okay, so we're gonna cut ourselves, mix the blood and the black root in. The bowl. Do I do I literally have to do all of this? Where's the obsidian lights? Okay, use. Okay, bam. Then, oh crap! Where's the blood? To do. Oh, of course. I have physical armor, so it's not gonna... Wait, that's not what I wanted to do. Um... How do we... I already used it. Okay. Combine with the bowl? Is that gonna work? No. Okay. I gotta go back to this. Cut ourselves with the lancet, then mix the blood and the black root in the bowl. Okay. So we need to combine with the do do do. I don't think it put blood in my inventory, but we have the black root. Where the heck is the black root? Nope. Nope. <laughs> Ingredients, black root. There we go. And goodbye. Is that gonna work? Okay, so ritual bowl. Okay. So cut ourselves with the obsidian lancet, then mix the blood and the black root in the bowl. We should burn the mixture in the bowl with the cellar's incinerator, then inhale the smoke. Hopefully that worked. Uh, yeah, hopefully I don't have to add any blood to it. So we're going to put this over here. We're gonna throw this on the ground. We're gonna move over here, dudes. There we go, we're gonna incinerate. And we're gonna come over here, and use it. Nice. And obviously not. So what am I missing? Uh, combine with the bowl? Ah, oh, crap. Okay, so hold on. Now I gotta do this again. <laughs> Why is this so confusing? Burn the mixture in the bowl with the cellar's incinerator, then inhale the smoke. We can now cut ourselves with the obsidian lancet, then mix the blood and the black root in the bowl. 
I cut myself. How do I mix the blood and the black root in the bowl? I feel like, um, like somehow I'm missing something because I have, I have the, the bowl. I put the black root in there. I need blood. How do I get my blood? Do, 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 do. Combine with. Uh, no, that's not going to work. Combine with this. There we go. Ritual bowl. Okay. Aha. Now. Mix the bowl and the black root. Or the blood and the black root in the bowl. Okay. So we're going to. <laughs> we're going to try this again. We're going to throw this on the ground. We're going to use the incinerator. We're going to come over here. As you suck the smoke deep into your lungs, your vision starts to swim and cloud. There is an intense pounding in your head, and you can feel the world fading. Um, hold the fumes in your lungs and ignore the thumping in your head. As the world fades away, you lose all sense of being grounded. You reach out, but you could feel yourself falling slowly, sinking into the depths of your own soul. Oh. my soul. But it looks like the Hall of Echoes. Oh, I guess we're back in the Hall of Echoes then.